in Washington yesterday asking military officials for more wartime support. This request comes ahead of his sit down with President Joe Biden today. Washington correspondent Jesse Tenner reports on his visit. Officials here are warning the stakes are extremely high. Ukraine is about to run out of money for more weapons, but Congress is running out of time to do anything about it. Welcome back to Washington. Top U.S. military officials gave Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky a warm welcome to Washington Monday. You are living proof that a single person's leadership can help rally and embattle democracy. But now Zelensky has to rally support in Congress to provide his country with more funding for weapons before the last round of aid runs out. You can count on Ukraine and we hope just as much to be able to count on you. President Joe Biden asked lawmakers for more than $61 billion in wartime funding for Ukraine. His request is part of a larger package that also includes money for Israel and other national security priorities. Zelensky said there's only one person who would benefit from the indecision on Capitol Hill. It's just Putin. North Carolina Democrat Congressman Wiley Nickel gave a similar warning Monday as Congress begins its final work week before the scheduled holiday break. Right now we risk Ukraine literally running out of bullets. If we do nothing by the end of the year, Vladimir Putin will win. But on Fox News Sunday, South Carolina Republican Congresswoman Nancy Mace argued lawmakers cannot support other countries without also securing the southern border. It doesn't seem like anyone on the left wants to have a resolution. The minute we bring up border security in Ukraine, everyone's like, nope, can't do that. Now, Republicans largely want to impose stricter limits on migrants seeking asylum, parole, and refugee status, while Democrats would rather add additional funding to existing programs to help accelerate claims. In Washington, I'm Jesse Chenard.